so you see x2 is the entering variable x2 is the entering variable so what we have found we have found the entering variable that is x2 now we have to find the leaving variable and for the leaving variable what we have to do we have to find find the ratio we have to find the ratio ratio how can we find the ratio through the dividing the pivot column that is the largest value the highest value in the net evolution row okay so over here you see three three we have to divide eight with the three eight is divided with the three likewise five has to be divided by two five is divided by two so you see we are done with this and we have found the ratio now just to make you understand which one is the bigger one so this one is the 2.5 so it's 2.5 and this one this one is 2.67 2.67 so you see which one is the smaller one so this one is the smaller one so this row is a pivot row this row is a pivot row so in this pivot row you see s2 is the variable so s2 is the living variable s2 is the living variable so over here you apply so will not make any sense 0 divided by 0 that is 0 so that is why I did not write otherwise we also write we also solve this zj so uh, what we have understood let me conclude that how we find the entering and the leaving variable through the pivot row and pivot column how do we find the pivot row pivot row is the we see in the net evaluation row that is the last row in the initial simplex tableau and in the initial simplex tableau you see the five is the largest element and that is why this column has to be selected as a pivot pivot column and the pivot column we need to see which variable it is so x2 is the variable so x2 will be the entering variable okay then what we do we also need to find the leaving element for the, for the leaving element we need to select the pivot row as well for selecting the pivot row what we do we first take out the ratio from the right hand side of the initial simplest tableau so right hand side has to be divided with the pivot column elements 8 divided by 3 5 divided by 2 0 divided by 0 so over here you see so what we have found 2.67 is the first answer 8 by 3 equals to 2.67 5 by 2 equals to 2.5 0 divided by 0 so you see in the above one not in this one we do not consider this one at all so okay for the pivot row we never consider this one we consider these value constraint values okay so in the constraint values which one is the smallest one 2.5 or 2.6 2.5 is the smallest one so we take the 2.5 okay so 2.5 has been taken what does that mean the it will become the pivot row so pivot row is this row and in that we found s2 so s2 is the living variable s2 is the living variable so this is we have we are done with this okay now 
let's move ahead we need to we need to finally develop the again develop the with the changes we are we are done with the uh, entering and the leaving so what we do we will make the tableau again this we will have to make again and again this is the requirement over here Okay, what we see over here. Now start developing the initial tableau again. In the basis we had S1 and S2, you see S1 and S2, but, but, S2 has as S2 has left okay S2 has left and X2 has entered so S1 be here S2 is replaced with the X2 S2 is replaced with the X2 and what is the X2 coefficient X2 coefficient is 5 S1 coefficient was 0 okay so it is the coefficient of objective function over here you see objective function coefficients we had three five zero zero so three five zero zero just to make ourselves remember recall x1 was the variable which had three its coefficient x2 is the variable we which had five and s1 is the variable which had zero s2 is the variable which had zero coefficient and right hand side we have okay let's take the coefficient of the remaining two three one zero two three one zero then we had one two zero one zero one then we had eight and five eight five okay and the zj was zj was zero 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 okay and the net evolution column was row was cj minus cj three five zero zero okay you see now this tableau is has new variable we had now over here we had this new variable okay so let's solve it with the step four so what is the step four pivot to update the tableau pivot to update the tableau so what we do next is step four step four pivot to update the tableau
What does that mean? It means, it means that in the in the last step of ours, what we found, we found this as our pivot column. Okay, and this was our pivot row. 